what's up guys? So I just got done reviewing the first two Paranormal Activity films, so please check out my review for these ones before you see this one. But, um, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with reviewing Paranormal Activity, uh, how do you say three in Spanish? God damn, I'm stupid. Paranormal Activity Tres. I'm in Spanish class, and I, I feel at life. Alright guys, so Paranormal Activity 3. Uh, again, uh, where to start? So, again, this is, in this one they get a little bit more crazier with like the whole characters and the family story. Because, you know, all um, all four movies have something to do with each other. They're not just random sequels. They um, all have to do with, like, the same story, same characters. So it gets a little crazy that I kind of forgot what the whole idea and family and story was. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the plot. Alright, guys. So this one takes place way back, I believe, in the 80s. Yeah, the point is this one take, go, takes you way back to where this all started. So this is a prequel, actually, to the Paranormal Activity series. Um, yeah, it takes place in the 80s. It's your average Paranormal Activity plot, okay? A family with two daughters move into a house. That seems like a normal house, but no, there's some strange stuff going on and whatnot, so they have to set up a camera in every room and whatnot, so to get... Um, yeah, see, it's made in nine. It was this was in 1988, so this is a prequel to the series. Now, again, this was the one where it tells you about like how this all happened, why um, this demonic force is causing this family or this family tree to uh, come to this to these houses and haunt them. Um, I do gotta say though, this is I I already said it in my second um. My Paranormal Activity 2 review, I mentioned, well, which one I like better. I was debating on which one I like better, uh, the second or the third. This is my favorite of the series. Now, I will tell you why this is my favorite of the series. This one, it gets so deep into, like, the plot and, like, the whole idea of the whole Paranormal Activity thing. But not only that, but I think this one got, uh, had the best... Scaries, man. This one was awesome. Um, yeah, this one definitely scared me the most. Had the best jump scares and whatnot. So, this one was definitely my favorite of the series, now that I think of it. But yeah, I really, really don't want to spoil this one for you. But this one, it takes place... Uh, yeah, it takes place in the 80s. Uh, but it tells you, like, how this all happened. It has something to do with, like, an old ancestor. Not gonna spoil anything for you, but I really do. I really want to tell you this, but sorry, no spoilers. Again, this is probably my favorite of the series. Um, it might be yours, too. I don't know. I heard a lot of people say the first one's their favorite, but whatever. Um, this is my favorite. I said that really weird. I'm sorry. Um, well, I remember this one now. I think this, uh, the reason why I like this one most also is because I've seen this the most. I think I've seen this, I've seen this one a lot of times. Um, more than any other Paranormal Activity movie. But yeah, so, there you go. Paranormal Activity 3. Oh wait, I need to rate this, don't I? Okay, I, overall, I would probably give Paranormal Activity 3 4 out of 5 stars. Just like the second one, um, it's, it's kind of like a tie kind of, but I like Paranormal Activity 3 just a little bit better than the second one. However, these are both very good films, uh, or sequels, both very good, but overall, Paranormal Activity 3 beats it. So, there you go. My favorite of the series, Paranormal Activity 3. Alright guys, uh, check out my other reviews for the Paranormal Activity series, and I will see you guys later.